Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Morning, everybody. Welcome to the Farming Pastor's Life. I'm so glad you're here. We're happy that you're here. Today's a big day for the us. The Farming Pastor. Guess what day it is? It's trip time. It's the day we leave on our trip. You can see it is still dark outside. We got up at 4.30. 4.30. And we were like, okay, we can't sleep anymore. Let's get up. And just doing the last minute things. Important thing. Cup of java. I'll wash up our cups. And dry them and put them away before we leave. Um, just last minute things. Hey, we don't know how much, um, what, we don't know what the Wi-Fi is going to be like there. Yeah. We're going to try to upload some videos while we're there uh, for you guys. We're going to try to keep our normal schedule. Yeah. So you guys can kind of uh, live vicariously through our trip. And uh, hey, this is big for us. You know, we took, when Isaac graduated high school, we took a cruise for him. Um there's in we'll our the same thing for Caroline. in our area, our region of the world. A lot of the teenage kids they'll go to Myrtle Beach for their high school trip. Senior and Beach Week. Senior Beach Week. And <coughs> we're those parents. We're not naive. That's not always a good trip for your kids to make. You let your kids do what you want them to do. We let our kids do what we want them to do. And we didn't want them to take that trip because there's a lot of challenges and struggles and temptations. So. We saved money when our kids were graduating high school. We took Caroline on a uh, cruise for her um, graduation. graduation. When Isaac graduated, we took him on a cruise. Okay, so we took him and Trevor. And so we um, and we take annual vacations. This, to my knowledge, is the first big vacation trip ever. we've ever taken by ourselves, by other ourselves, than our honeymoon. Other than our honeymoon. Now we'll do occasional. Uh, Nights day or two the, nights in the mountain or day or two fishing trip at the beach. But for us to get on the plane and go somewhere, just me and her, this is the first time. We've been saving now. We have gone to Texas, but it was for, it was church. It was for business. It was church. It was business. <coughs> um, so we've been saving for about a year to, to get all this trip together and to make everything go. And so a lot of hard work has went into getting us to this point today. And we're glad that we can take you along. And so anyway, that's a little bit of that. So uh, I'm going to step out because I want her to show you what we got in the mail. Yep. Jessica went to the post office for me. And um, I got some beautiful cards and um, a couple letters and uh, anniversary, celebrating our anniversary cards. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it more than you know. Tell me how to oh, yeah, I have a little... Y'all noticed in my last video, several of you mentioned it, that you were worried about me because here I am going on a trip. And yes, I have the Great. upper respiratory. It is not the dreaded you-know-what, but it is just an upper respiratory yuck. I went to the doctor yesterday, and I told him, I said, normally I would just let this run its course, but I'm going out out of town, out of country. And so he threw every medicine at me, but the kitchen sink, I think. So to be sure I had a great time. But I want y'all to see these. Aren't they cute? And listen, <clears throat> they are handmade. These are handmade. Y'all, I knitted, I tried to knit a pair of socks one time. Wow, that's really good. Isn't that good? That's really, really and, good. Um, <sighs> I tried to knit a pair of socks one time, and I got one made. And We, um, we gave it to my mom. <laughs> we gave it to his mama because his mama had a, one leg amputated. So <laughs> I didn't want the, my hard work to go to waste. And so she was able to use my one sock, and I was so glad. But, um, yeah, anyway, so knitting socks is not for the faint of heart, let me tell you. And that was from a Maydeen 
Maydeen, thank you so much. I'm, I'm reading your note, but I don't have my glasses on. So, um, I, ha I found that when uh, handmade socks is either you love them or hate them. I happen to love them. Thank you so much. Um, they're wool, so hand wash. And that is the softest wool I have ever felt. It is not itchy at all. Um, so, those are nice. Thank you. Um, Nadine, I said Nadine because I was looking and I don't have my glasses on. Thank you so very much. Um, I appreciate that more than you know, and I love the color. These I wear with my Valentine's outfit. <coughs> you wanted to verify. Yes, it's Nadine. <laughs> you wanted to verify, see if I was reading the note right. All right, and let me tell you what Miss Cindy um, sent me. And again, I don't have my glasses on, but I thought this was so funny. Um, I'm not going to read you her note, but in here it says, um, I sent you, she sent a box in the box. She says, I hope you enjoy. Me and you have the same taste. You'll see. Brian, you need to see this. You'll laugh. She says, she and I have the same taste. And then I'm going to see when I open up. I've already opened it up, so. But I hadn't seen it. But he hasn't seen it. I've got to make sure it's turned right. Love me some burnt. Oh, yes, she does. <laughs> she makes me burn her some. Whenever I do stovetop popcorn, I always have to. What I do is I take and I, I cook mine. I pour mine out. And I put hers back on for just a second, burn it, and give it to her. Yep. I love some burnt popcorn. That's the best part. That is absolutely the best part. Thank you, Cindy, so very, very much. Now, several of you have guessed where I'm, where we're going on our um trip and it will be revealed later on in this video so hint hint but um several of you guessed hawaii and we are in need of passports so therefore we are not going to hawaii um where we're going we need oh, a we passport need, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we have our yeah, we have our, we don't need a passport. We have ours, but where we're going, we need to have a passport. Um, so therefore, that that scratches Hawaii off the list. So those of you that guessed Hawaii, you guessed wrong. Sorry. But um, I've got this beautiful box here. And on the top, it says, Taste of Hawaii. And I'm dropping my note. <clears throat> and Miss Jen M., said, um, since you're not coming to Hawaii, I'm going to send some Hawaii to you. <laughs> and in this box, let me see if I can get you guys tilted down. It's all Hawaii goodies. And guess what? So I will be having a little bit of Hawaii on the airplane. I am going to pack this in our pack and enjoy these. Uh, Bryant, yeah. are you close by? Yeah. Can I borrow your eyes? Just so you can tell everybody what they are, what everything is. Let's start with this. All right, here we go. I'm in a sweet Hawaii potato. Hawaiian chip company, sweet potato. Taro chips, T-A-R-O, taro chips. And it's it's dried chips and so forth. Um, Miami, <coughs> Miami Fruit Jewels, Hannah Collection of Hawaiian Fruit, Exotic Fruit Jellies. Ooh. Oh, that and is, I probably won't take that one. I'll probably leave it here. That is cool. Let's open it up. See, open it. Get another one out. Okay. okay. While I'm opening this one. Let's do this right here. Let me turn them just a little bit. I need a All right, here we go. Um, Aloha Granola Trail Mix. Mm, that would be good to take. Now, I wonder if that's native to their area. Fresh. Of course it is. That's natural, right. pure Hawaii, okay? Oh, look. Yeah, I will be taking these. They're like jelly oh, candy. Oh, that is cool. That is really it's cool. It's like gourmet candy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Panalua uh, Bake Shop. Guava flavored macadamia nut shortbread cookie. Guava cookie. Yeah. Oh, that is good. We got 
a lot of guava chocolate. Didn't we have some guava chocolate? No, no, guava's not chocolate. No, that's not. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought in our. You're talking about Kona. Kona, yeah, 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 yeah. Organic macadamias uh, covered in dark chocolate. Oh, oh that's man. definitely going on the plane. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. And lightly salted macadamia nuts with sea salt. Oh, thank you so that, that is, much. That is great. So, Hawaii is someplace we've never been. And no, but it's if, on our bucket list. It's on our bucket list. And, um, and we, I have we don't several mind, viewers from Hawaii. Yeah, we don't mind staying with viewers. So, we'll come stay with you guys. Yeah. Yeah, hint, hint. We can we can uh, maybe swing the airfare. Yeah, we can buy we, the ticket. We actually did look at Hawaii. Mm -hmm. We did, and it was pretty expensive. Um, not not saying anything negative, but it was uh, during the time that we were needing to go. Right, it was a little out of our budget range, and so uh, who knows? Maybe when we get to the golden anniversary, fifty. I don't want to wait that long. Maybe we can go at twenty-seven. There you go. Two, there you go. Two years. There we talking. Two years to save. And there we talk it. All right, guys. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. You are the most thoughtful people in the entire world. Let's hit the road. Let's go. go. Bye, y'all. Okay, guys. We're stopping for a little bit of breakfast before we uh, keep heading to the airport. We're going to stop right here at... Uh, Bohongilies. or we went to church with a little girl who called it Joe Bangles. Bangles. And so we, we've always called it Joe Bangles um, just because she was so cute when she said it. But we're going to get us a biscuit <clears throat> and be on the road to the airport. Okay, everybody, we are about 15 minutes out from the airport and we are hitting a little bit of the Charlotte traffic. We're going flying out of Charlotte because it was a direct flight. We didn't have any layovers, so uh, we're flying out of Charlotte. And as you can see, the busyness of the traffic is definitely picking up, and so is my excitement. All right, everybody, we have made it to the airport. Now we're just got to navigate ourselves. You see the plane, maybe. Maybe. I can't get it. You're missing it. I'm missing it. You're going too far. There you oh, go. Oh, there it is. Yep. Okay, that's uh, that's Spirit, or is that Southwest? Southwest, I believe. Um, okay, we are headed in. We just got to navigate to find where we're supposed to go. And so we will see you guys in a little bit when we get inside. Okay guys, we've made it here and we're going to uh, check in over here at the uh, American Airlines International, International Check-In Point. Okay guys, this was where we were going to go, but they're loading now and we're just waiting. So where are we headed? We know now it's not... We know now it's not, not Hawaii Aruba. and it's not, not Aruba. Aruba. So where are we headed? Stay tuned. Won't be much longer. Okay guys, the time you've all been waiting for. We're gonna arrive at 420. We leave at 1127. We're gonna be boarding in about 25 minutes and there's where we're going. All right, mom, you ready? All right, so uh, you've told them where we're going, right? Yes, they've seen. We're heading where? St. Martin. All right. And I have go. a feeling I'll have to go straight and lose this thing as soon as I get there. Attention all travelers, it is important that you keep a close watch on your baggage and carry on items. Hey mom, you getting excited? Yes. All right, here we go guys. Getting on the big bird. Do you know everybody prays three times when they get on the big bird? When they take off, when they're flying, and when they land. Y'all, I don't fly often. Right here at the wing. So you can see it flapping the wing? Oh no, I'm not licking. Yeah. Is that the one that was loose last time? Just Why are you so close? Hey 
guys, we're backing up. <laughs> we're taxiing into the runway. No, they're an hour. Cart way out there. Little luggage cart moving. Or freight cart. Hey guys, I'm taking you every step of the way for takeoff and all of it. So you're going with us today. Up, up, and away. Hey y'all, here's we're taxiing to the runway right now, which is obviously right over there. So hang tight. Hi guys. He just said, get ready for takeoff. Get ready for takeoff. Here we go. close to touching down. We're about 20 minutes out and we've, I've already started seeing the royal blue, crystal blue water. We've, I've already started seeing the Caribbean water and we just went over an island and a cruise ship. So we're coming down, we're descending. We're at 19,000 feet. go look how close we get to the water and the beach all right y'all look at here we're landing and touchdown hi Leah what's temperature like it's hot a little warm we made it. It's beautiful already, and I didn't see anything but the airport. Alright, here's here's how you have to get off the plane here. The reason is is because Hurricane Irma a few years ago devastated the island and uh, the uh, gateways and stuff like that have not been rebuilt yet. So that's uh, we're here waiting on the shuttle and then uh, we're gonna head to the hotel. Hey guys, we're waiting for our luggage, hoping and praying it's not lost. Yeah. So it shouldn't be. Yeah, so it, we're waiting for it. If it is, what are we gonna do? Buy clothes. Yeah, we got visa. That'll work, right? Yep. All right. Not not terribly crowded here. We're the only uh, flight right now that's here in the baggage claims area. So there's probably oh about 120, 30 people here trying to get their luggage. So. Okay, guys. Have you ever seen palm trees and mountains in the same visual? Hey guys, we're just waiting on the shuttle from our hotel or our resort and it should be here in just a few minutes because it's, it's really close to the airport. Yeah, so. it's only like three kilometers away. So it should be here soon. Yeah, it's organized chaos, right? Yes. Yep, yep. Look, uh, see the houses up there on the hill. Over there, I don't know what you can see, but let me see. See the beautiful mountains over there? 
see the uh, houses on the side of the mountains. Let's give them a little history. All right, give them a little history. St. Martin is owned by two countries. It is an island split in half. Um, the French side and you have the Dutch side, which is owned by the Netherlands. So we are actually staying on the Dutch side, but we're going to travel the whole island. Um, it's on two countries and three currencies are accepted here. The Euro, the whatever the Dutch currency is that I can't think of the name of, and American Dollar. We've rented a car. We've rented a car. We'll be picking it up tomorrow. Or, or Saturday. Saturday. We'll be picking it up Saturday. And uh, we're going to have a ball. Okay, guys. We've arrived at our hotel. I'm just going to give you a quick look. That is the pool ahead of us outside. And we'll sign in right here. Okay, guys. We're actually out here in the restaurant area. But I wanted you to check out this pool. It looks out into the ocean. Is this not actually heaven? This is absolutely beautiful. Look at the ship in the distance. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, let's head on in. Here is our room. Potty. Oh, and look at the rain head shower. This is so nice. Beautiful king size bed, couch. And just look at this view. We get a view of that gorgeous pool. Yes, and that white thing you see, that kind of weird shaped white thing you see out there, that's a water slide, I think. Look at those chairs. That's the little restaurant here called Salt. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy this immensely. Okay, everybody, we're gonna stop filming so we can get this video out to you guys so y'all can figure out where we're at. It's a bad. Four o'clock your time, four eighteen your time, Eastern Standard Time. It's five eighteen Island time. Yep. And so okay. Island time. We're gonna head to dinner. I like the sound of that. Island time. We're gonna head out to dinner, and dinner will be on tomorrow's evening. Yes. Yes. So, so we're gonna start filming right where we leave off today, and just carry you on through. And uh, it may not be an everyday upload. I'll try to keep my normal schedule, which means Friday there may not be a video. No, Saturday is the day. Saturday, there won't be a video. So, but and I'll still be filming. And on the weekend after, there will not be a sermon. No sermon. But you'll still get a couch time because we'll we're sitting on the couch now. That's what we're at now on the couch. Just, we're going to have to make it fast because my arm's getting tired. We, oh, I can't hold it. We didn't bring a tripod. Yeah, I didn't want to carry a tripod, so it's our arms. So, okay, guys, we will see. We're going to have a blast and we will see you tomorrow. Remember, the grease is hot enough. You can fry anything. Bye from St. Martin. We're going to tip the island out.